नमस्कार एंड हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर वैर जयंती रामावत असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एम जी वीज एम एस जी कॉलेज मालेगाव कैम्प हियर आई वेलकम टू ऑल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट एज वी ऑलरेडी सीन द कनेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट टू ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर अगर आपने नहीं देखा हो तो जरूर देखें सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स। वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग डेफिनेशन इम्पॉर्टेंस चैलेंजेस बिफोर एच आर डी एंड ऑल्सो द इमर्जिंग कंसेप्ट ऑफ एच आर डी दैट इज क्वालिटी सर्कल्स काइजन एंड वी आर एस so let's start with the meaning first human resource development is a process of developing skills competencies knowledge and attitudes of people in an organization so human resource development naam se hi pata chalta hai ki ye ek department hai जो अपने एम्प्लॉयज के स्किल्स को डेवलप करने का काम करता है एच आर डी इज अ क्रूशल पार्ट ऑफ एच आर एम विच इज मोर कंसर्न विथ ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट करियर प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट वेर एज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इज टोटली कंसर्न विथ मैनेजमेंट एस्पेक्ट्स Moving towards the next definition of HRD, a set of systematic and planned activities designed by an organization to provide its members with the necessary skills to meet current and future job demands. This definition implies that an organization designed systematic planned activities for their employees. to enhance the necessary skills to meet future requirement so why the hrd is important hrd develops competent human resource to develop employees skill and competencies different trainings and development programs are launched by the hrd the next importance is hrd creates opportunity for career development which helps to grasp the career development opportunities through development of human skills and knowledge another importance of hrd is employee commitment if employees are provided with proper training and development opportunities the they will feel committed to the work and the organization next is job satisfaction when people in the organization are well oriented and developed they show a higher degree of commitment in the actual workplace this inspires them to perform better which ultimately leads to job satisfaction the another importance of hrd is change management hrd develops organizational health culture and environment which leads to change management the next importance is opportunities for training and development training and development program are tool of hrd they provide opportunity for employees development by matching training needs with organizational requirement another importance is performance improvement hrd develops necessary skills and abilities required to perform organizational activities as a result of which employees can contribute for better performance in an organization so overall hrd is very important challenges for hrd hrd also faces various challenges like culture or attitude HRD professionals have to face cultural challenges in different countries 
or with the employees belonging to the different countries. This is because of the cultural differences in different countries. Another challenge is technology or skills. The new technologies are replacing the older ones rapidly. An HR professionals has to be updated regarding this technological changes in order to meet the requirement of the new generation. The next challenge is values of behavior. The HRD professionals need to adjust themselves to the emerging new values as principal centric leadership is becoming a trend in the corporate world. Values like trust, credibility, timelines and the simpler rules are becoming the foundation of many organization. Next challenge is knowledge or information. HRD professionals have to understand the different philosophies demonstrated at different parts of the world. For example, the philosophy related to leadership changes dramatically in organizations from different parts of the world. Such enhancement of knowledge poses challenge for them. Another challenge for HRD is lifestyle or habits. The lifestyle of an employee is also important for HRD professionals because they have to understand the habit of the employees and then decide the training that needs to be imparted for bringing a change in the habits of the employees. Another challenge before HRD is knowledge of new practices. An HRD professional needs to be aware of the new practices adopted by the organizations all over the world. They should be aware about the practices like dignity of individuals, retention of employees, leadership by examples, clear conscious relationship with employees, shareholders, vendors, suppliers, customers and society at large. The another challenge of HRD is environment. An open environment is essential for the success of an organization. The organizational environment should have meritocracy, fearlessness, justice, speed, imagination and accountability. It is the responsibility of the HRD professional to motivate the employees for better performance once this kind of environment is created in the organization. So these are the challenges of HRD. Now we will see the emerging concepts of HRD that is quality circle, Kaizen, voluntary retirement scheme. So let's see the first concept of HRD that is quality circle. The quality control circle are more popularly known as quality circle concepts were formed in Japan in 1960 and in United States it started in 1977. Gradually it caused the attention world over and most of the developed and developing countries are using the concept to their benefits. Are using the concepts to their benefits. Quality circle. Quality circle and producing methods was invented by Edwards Deming under Japanese management. Quality circle is one of the employee participation techniques. It needs high morale and support of the high level management. It is a sign of progressive management. So this is the quality circle. Now moving towards the next concept that is Kaizen. What is Kaizen? The Japanese were much quicker in technology rather in the process of technology because of their outlook towards their work. They always preferred constant development in their work in the decade of 1980 
the idea of teamwork was not only started in Japan but all over the world. It is demonstrated through the concept called Kaizen. The precise meaning of Kaizen is Kai that means change and Zen means better. It is a process of constant development involving all the levels of employees. The philosophy behind is there should be constant development in our life. So this is all about the Kaizen. Another concept of HRD is Voluntary Retirement Scheme that is VRS. VRS is introduced by Central Public Sector Undertakings. It is a techniques of reduction of people from an organization. The entire organization has eligibility criteria as per their suitable norms. It's a golden handshake to an organization. There shall be no recruitment against vacancies arising out of VRS. So these are some new concepts of HRD. I hope you get understand the HRD concepts in detail. So we will meet in next lecture with new concept of human resource management that is human resource planning. Thank you.